I don't need a mirror anymore. Sure. I can see the Flyers emblem in your shirt. What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. So as you guys remember, a couple months ago, my brother and I picked up this sight unseen 2002 Mercedes-Benz CL600, which is powered by, yes, the 5.8 liter V12. We got this car for only $1,500 at auction. We made it home safely over a thousand miles with no major issues, but now it is in desperate need of a detail, a wash, and a full paint correction to really make this thing shine again. It has potential, but it needs a lot of work to get there. So that's what we're gonna be doing in today's video. We have our friends over from Pure Auto Detail. They're gonna be helping us out with this cleaning. And also a big thanks to Omaze for making this video possible. Be sure to check out the link in the description below to learn how you can win a 2020 Porsche Taycan. Let's get into this video. Here we go, we got the pros from Pure Auto Detail coming to help us out. We got Joseph and Rolando, and they are going to go to work on the Mercedes. Christian and I are gonna tackle a lot of the interior, but of course they're gonna be doing the exterior wash as well as a multi-step polish correction. Yeah. This thing will be looking brand new. That's what we're really gonna love because I always get so nervous doing a machine polish or something. If I do it, I always do it by hand and then it takes forever. So they're gonna be not able to knock it out with a team of two and have this car looking so good. Yes, all those scratches in the paint are hopefully gonna come out with the polish. There's also a little bit of fade here and there. So we're hoping that by the end of this, it looks like a showroom ready V12. So without further ado, let's get going on super cleaning the 1500. One, step one would we call it, is done, the wash, and you did a couple other things, right? Yeah, so just a regular wash on it after you got done with the mm -hmm. wash, we did the clay bar. Uh -huh. Get rid of any contaminants to the exterior of the car. It's prepped and ready to go. How would you rate this paint? We're looking at it a little closer. Now that the two inches of dirt is off of it, right. we're running into some issues, right? Yeah, we got some water spotting, some swirling. You guys can see that maybe in the sunlight here. Oh, geez, I don't know if you guys can see this. We got like two huge scratches right here. Um, yeah, definitely not as nice a paint as I thought it was because we could never tell when we picked up this car it was still covered in dust. But you think with the detail and the polish, it's, it's gonna come out. And what's, what's the plan for that? When we pull it in, how's that gonna look before we get into the next edit? Right, so we're gonna do a compound stage to the exterior mm -hmm. of the car. That should get rid of the majority of the scratches. Okay. And we'll finish it with a polishing stage and that should really make it pop. So. Sweet, I can't wait. So it's gonna look showroom new because that's the whole title and that's the whole yeah, goal of this video. So some people think water spots are just because they didn't do a good job drying the car or they let it dry itself and didn't use good water, but these are not our water spots. These are right. in the paint. If you guys can see that there. Oh yeah, wow. But those will come out, hopefully. Yeah. Christian, let's start it up. Let's move the Aston Martin out of the way. Let's get her pulled in. Here we go. All right, cold start in the Aston Martin. Key goes like that. Power on. Give it a second. Put it in neutral. Three, two, one. Fire in the hole. Yes, sir. Here we go, now time for the CL. Oh yeah, I can't even hear it compared to the Aston. Oh yeah, this thing is so silent. Comment down below. Do we need to straight pipe it? We're not quite sure. This thing is such a clean, just stock example. We may just leave it as is. We're not quite sure. Or if we're gonna go with an exhaust, we're gonna go with like a full send, equal length header setup. But that of course costs more than the car's worth, so I don't know. 
Now that the car's all moved around and before we get going on this detail and polish, I wanna give a big shout out and thanks to today's video sponsor, Omaze. Omaze is giving you the chance to win a brand new 2020 Porsche Taycan and $20,000 cash. Yes, the shipping costs and taxes are included as well. All of this while supporting a great cause. Every donation supports the Dempsey Center, which is committed to making life better for people managing the impacts of cancer, who are one of the most high risk groups navigating these turbulent times. As you all know, the 2020 Porsche Taycan is absolutely incredible. One of of the coolest rides of 2024 sure it's a groundbreaking 100 electric supercar with astonishing performance numbers so to think somebody's going to be winning this brand new car and having the option to go to la to take delivery from porsche lover patrick dempsey himself is uh pretty cool i i, I may just be slightly jealous to potentially win this 2020 porsche tycon and twenty thousand dollars cash while supporting the dempsey center simply hit that link in the description below omaze.com slash jr garage that is omaze.com slash jr garage Thank you, Omaze, once again for supporting this channel and making videos like this possible. And now, without further ado, let's get cleaning up the CL600. Here we go. Okay, moment of truth. Did a little test section. Yo, look at that. So there's hope. It's going to come back. Yep. Coming off, oh snap. Look at that difference. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding? I am excited to see the rest of the car. If this is, this is just half the hood. Definitely takes a lot of time and effort, so we can't thank you enough. Really, really appreciate you guys coming out, but it's gonna look brand new at the end of this cushion. I think it's time we tackle the interior, they tackle the exterior. Let's get this thing looking showroom new. Right, guys day two of the ultra detail of the cl600 joseph and rolando just finished up another eight hours worth of work on this car they just left to some other projects but boy oh boy the car is officially done today they tackled the ceramic coating and any last little details in addition to the compound detail they did the polish they did and the work that they did on the windows to get all the nasty like water spotting and pitting out they look brand new so we'll show you in just a second when we get up into the mountains we want a cool setting to show you the final product so i can't show you too much now but it looks absolutely perfect oh it is dripping wet but again we got to get up into those mountains so that we can give you a really cool cinematic final product review all right you'll get a little glimpse now as it comes into the light for the first time that is we don't even want to drive it like it's just too perfect this is the cleanest this car has ever looked unreal enough of me talking let's get into a beautiful little edit as we head into the mountains for the final cl600 reveal No advances, run this check without loans. What I do, never planned out. It fall in place on its own. I don't ever need practice. You on bench when that blows. Warren Buffy at Eric. Want a Disneyland Palace. 2020, 2020. See my future through the ball. 2020, 2020. See him losing from afar. Throw me the wolves. I'm a return leading the pack. Yeah. What can I say? All that I do, always the track. Yeah. Out with the old and with the 
the new Kylo is that, yeah. Got him like, ooh, got him like, ah, man, it be slap. Got, got my team wearing all black if you overstepping your grounds. Y'all don't see all this hard work that I wrote up out of this pen. But everybody want to be a rapper. Everybody want to see the glamour. All these people want to slice a cake, but want to do it without pulling away. I'm bananas while attacking. I go stupid, dumb, be trigger happy if they want me. There you guys have it. I hope you enjoyed that edit. The final product of what was a, what, 25 hour detail, if you count everybody's time. Of course, Joseph and Rolando put in so much time and energy. They definitely are the MVPs in this case. They did an incredible job. Chris, let's walk them around it. This car looked okay before, but a black car really shows all the imperfections. So it was so important to do a full paint correction on this car. You guys saw the before and after clips just on the hood with a perfect uh, painter's tape to get a good 50-50. Oh that yeah. That was insane seeing that I side mean, by Look side. at this paint now. I don't need a mirror anymore. I just have my hood of my Mercedes. Ow. Look at this, Christian. Sure. I can see the flyer's emblem in your shirt. And how much of a mirror can it get? Oh. Unbelievable. From where it started, I mean, this paint was showing its age. It was far from perfect, but now this looks like a showroom new car. And take a look at the interior. Look at the seats. I mean, they were already in great shape, but a little cleaning and conditioning really helped them out. And the interior, Christian, uh, you spent a long time trying to figure this out, but now we finally got that wood piece back on. What'd you have to do? I uh, get a little bit creative with it because normally they want you to take the whole door panel off just to put that back on, but yeah. we uh, got it on there. If you guys remember when we picked up this car, it was missing the floor mats, but luckily I got a little handy on eBay and I found some OEM replacement, like new old stock Mercedes-Benz C215 CL600 floor mats for 100, they were 100 and something bucks. They look great. Perfect match of the existing carpet. All the wood, we did some nice cleaning. I mean, that was pretty straightforward. Just scuffs off and sticky residues and fingerprints and all that stuff. Back, we didn't have to do much. These seats have barely been sat in, so they were in uh, perfect condition as well. Inside and out, this car is 100% good to go. You guys gotta comment down below your thoughts, of course, on the detail. Would you all invest this kind of time and money into your car? Yeah. But at 1500 bucks, we have a lot of spending and budget to do fun things with. And one of those fun things could be an exhaust. We still don't know what we're gonna do with this. Christian really wants to go with equal length headers. That's right, we have just so much opportunity and time to play with this car because it didn't take a whole rebuild. I mean, it's a perfect clean title car. It was just, we thought it was too good to be true, but it turns out that uh, it, it wasn't. Is. It was an absolute diamond in the rough. Yeah, 100% steel. So we paid 15 our bucks for it, but the problem is equal length headers and that stuff is probably nearly 10 grand. So you pay $1,500 for the car, you put 10,000 into an exhaust. Now who can argue with that? Yeah, yeah, sounds like a, a crazy YouTube idea to me, but. Better it, than spending 10 grand on a car and 10 grand on an exhaust. This is true, this is true. We did get it pretty cheap, so we have some money to throw at it, but you guys gotta comment down below your thoughts on that. And you also gotta comment down below your thoughts on our new cars yes plural and no we didn't just buy two cars not even three cars oh my gosh we just bought one today that's right <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's four now this is a problem we haven't even revealed any of them to you uh two of them have made it back to the warehouse they got here off the shipping transporters one of them we just bought today Ah, uh, where do we begin where do we begin what hints do we give them the next one that we're revealing is that car that we just picked up the other day you guys are gonna really? like this one really we're starting with the best uh, oh wait wait the car which, yeah. which car are you talking about okay, okay no one is going to guess it yeah i'm telling you that right now mm -hmm. if you guess it we'll give you a free car no maybe not <laughs> if you guess it we'll give you a hoodie how about that a jr garage hoodie mm -hmm. if you guess this car correctly the one we are revealing it should be next video but maybe the video after that Ah, oh, what hint do we give them? It has, all we're gonna say is this car is really rare. Even harder to find than the six-speed manual C300, believe it or not, because only a matter of hundreds were imported to the US that year. So, very rare car, and it has a V8. And we'll say that it was under $1,000. Yes, under $1,000. I'm telling you guys, subscribe to the channel. You do not wanna miss this next video. We're revealing such a rare car that we got for what we think we're not sure yet, is a 100% steal of a deal, grand slam, home run, as if we can't hit another one after getting a V12 clean title for 1,500 bucks. What other cars are coming? Little hint, little hint, we can't, we can't tell them too much. Like, yes, two other really three. fun, three other really, really fun ones. One of those that I'm really looking forward to is a Porsche, a cheap Porsche, $1,200. Wait, wait, 
Did you say Porsche for $1,200? Absolutely. I think this is gonna be a really, really good one, and, and it's a car that I am very fond of. Yeah. Uh, okay, and then we got two other cars. I wanna tell you what the car was that we just picked up today because it is so cool, and it is not like these other cheap cars. It's Italian and it's exotic, so so much going on with the channel so you guys gotta subscribe but we want to keep this video from going too long so you just got to stay tuned for the next few videos cars are gonna be amazing we need your help because there's so much potential for these cars that are coming mm -hmm. so much we could do with them mm -hmm. and just a direction to take them if we build them up or if we turn them into a race car or if we give them away oh yes 100 percent. you guys can count on it one of those four cars we just picked up will be the next next giveaway car we want to give away a car like every couple months. I don't know. As you guys know, the C300 is the next one. If you're not following our giveaway page, free car giveaways, go ahead and do that. Make sure you don't follow the fake account. There's a fake account running around out there. Check the spelling and make sure you guys are following the right one. Within a matter of like two to three weeks, we are launching that giveaway and it will be free to enter, free to win. One person will be winning a free Mercedes. Six speed manual be such a blast. So I hope this offers some inspiration to you all with a car out there that you've been wanting to detail up and get it looking perfect again. I hope you go out and do that. Cause hey, when your cars are clean, they thank you in return, they run better and they don't break. You hear that Love V12? Even more. You hear that V12? Don't break, no coil packs, uh-uh, not today. Mm -hmm. And once again, big thanks to Omaze for supporting the channel. If you guys want more information on how you can win a 2020 Porsche Taycan, hit that link in the description below. Thank you guys for watching, take care, and we will see you guys in the next new car delivery. See you.